Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Hey, we're here at the Model Off World Financial Modeling Championships in New York City. I have uh, some of the Excel rock stars that are finalists here today. Uh, this next trick is Dan Mayo with Shuffle a Deck of Cards. What a great trick in Excel. All right, Dan, roll on over. Hi, everyone. So, I'm Dan, just... where are you from? I'm from Australia, in Australia. Brisbane. That's cool. How did you hear about the competition? Uh, it was posted on a Excel uh, forum that I'm a member of. Someone put up, oh, here's this competition, so anyone here you know, who's reading this who thinks they're a gun Excel guru, have a go at it. That's great. And so I did. That's good. And so you entered and went through the first two rounds, and you're one of the top 16 in the world. That's right. Okay, Exciting. So you're here to New York City for the big competition tomorrow? Yes. All right. So tell us what your uh, trick is here today. Okay. My trick here is essentially how to simulate um, the random shuffling of a deck of cards in Excel uh, without the need for any macros. Uh, I do a lot of, uh, sort of gaming analysis on Excel that often involves having you know, anywhere from one deck to eight decks of cards um, needed you know, to simulate shuffle and then you, you run your computations to, to see you know, what the result would be. Um, and so this trick enables me to basically put the numbers 1 to 52 uh, in a random order and I can see you know, the 1 to 52 represents a deck of cards and it might be 1 to 4 are the aces, 5 to 8 are the twos, 9 to 12 and Makes so sense. on. Okay. But essentially, you know, you could extend this to be wider, just numbers one to whatever you want uh, in order without any repetitions. So why don't you just use RAM between, equal RAM between 1 to 52? One well, to 52. probably if we, if we use the RAM between function you know, with the arguments 1 to 52, we'll, we'll get a random number between 1 and 52. If you do that 52 times, you're not going to end up with all the 52 numbers occurring once each. You're very, very likely going to have some, some doubles in there and some uh, numbers missed out. So your method is going to get us no duplicates. All That's right. exactly right. Good. Show us how it works. Okay. We start with just using the rand function um, and then open close bracket and that gives us a number just between 0 and 1 uh, to quite a few decimal places. So we have 52 of those, so I've got them in cells A1 to A52 here. Next to that we'll just actually put the numbers 1 to 52, so just start it with 1, column B uh, equals the cell above plus 1 and run Copy that down. down. All right. Yep. Okay, and now here's the trick. Um, at this point, we could use, uh, say, the sort command on, if we highlighted columns A and B and sorted on column A, that will change the numbers to B. But if we wanted to do this uh, you know, over and over and over again, uh, because we're doing some sort of simulation, well, then we have to program a sort command into you know, our VBA routine. Or if we're doing it manually, we have to manually sort each time. And that um, can be time consuming. Right. So we can actually just use the large function instead. And so here I've got a simple formula in column C, uh, which just references the 52 values in column A, and then picks either the, you know, the, the largest, the second largest, the third largest, or so on. And that's why we have the values in column B there. They're just essentially anchors to say, up in row one, I want the largest. In okay. row two, I want the second. Um, we could have also just, instead of the reference to column B, we could have could uh, say just the row argument, but this is a bit more general because sure. it doesn't require us having it you know, starting at row one of the worksheet. Right, yeah. So all that's done now is given us all our random values from column A, but it's put them in order for us. Um, still not all that much good to us, so we need one more function, and this is just in column D, the match function. And this will take our value in column C, which in row one we know is the largest, in row two we know is the second largest, and so on. and find where did that value occur uh, in column A. Um, it might be in the first spot, might be in the 52nd spot, might be somewhere in between. And it will return for us where that value occurred in column A. That's that's brilliant. As you were heading, heading over to column D, I felt sure you were going to have a VLOOKUP over there, doing a VLOOKUP between A and B, but you made it even shorter just using the match. The match tells us the position, and that gives us number one. Yes. Two. All right. Uh, I much prefer using indexes and match rather than VLOOKUPs, but that's... Uh, Discussion for another video. That, yeah, that, <laughs> next, next year's VLOOKUP week, we'll have to have a little dueling thing that uh, index and match instead of VLOOKUP. I get it, uh, especially in this group. All right, Dan, hey, thanks for that great trick. You're welcome, Bill. Good luck tomorrow in the uh, competition, and uh, thanks for this great tip. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.